This program features live coverage of an Af Hello everyone and a massive welcome to the Sabi Sands. I'm back from Kenya. Surprise, it's Scott. And I cannot wait for this afternoon's adventure with all of you. This is Safari Live. I'm literally shaking with excitement, everyone. You have no idea how grateful I am to be back in the saddle here on Safari Live. Myself and Nikki arrived yesterday afternoon, and it's been so, so good to catch up with the crew, hear about all the changes. We've been so busy up in Kenya, we sadly haven't been able to follow Safari Live's wonderful journey as closely as, as, closely as we would have liked to but I can guarantee you that it is an absolute treat to be back here and look forward to catching up with all of you that uh, know me. Um, for those of you who don't, I left about a year ago with Nikki. Um, Nikki is my partner. She was a director of the show before we left and we've been up in Kenya managing a camp since we've been gone. So we're just back on holiday now and the Safari Life team very kindly invited us back for a visit and a special safari this afternoon with all of you guys. Thanks, buddy. Thanks Dave. Thanks Dave. The bush has changed greatly since we were last year. It's become very thick and green. When we lo left uh, last year about this time it was very dry so to see the bush so alive and lush is a very very wonderful thing and just driving around this morning uh, with James, I was astounded at all the changes that have happened since we've been gone. Thanks so much to all of you who have already expressed kind welcome backs to myself and Nikki. And like I said, we are just so, so grateful to be back here. I'm going to continue along this road we're on Impala Road and there were rumors of a male lion that was left here this morning so what we're gonna do is just drive around and see if we don't find any sign of him he's probably not gonna be up too much it's still quite warm but who knows you never know what's gonna happen out here so it'll be worth just checking in on him seeing where he is and we'll be sure to give you an update once we work out where he is in fact hiding until then we're gonna send you across to Brent's